Hey people of the future, today's short story is from distant past, or at least a pretty detailed recreation of it. We are in the world of Assassin's Creed Origins, on the top of the Great Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu. Isn't this gorgeous? Despite its age, the game looks absolutely fantastic, and to this day it is still the best interactive recreation of ancient Egypt, which gets quite a lot of things right from the historical point of view. And it is this accuracy that made me want to look closer at certain things, one of which is on your screen right now. See these hieroglyphs on the pyramid? Perhaps unsurprisingly, they are not random gibberish. Most of these are various names of King Khufu, the owner of the pyramid. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll dive deeper into all this writing. But today, it's specifically this line over here that caught my attention. To the best of my knowledge, this is an actual correct sentence in ancient Egyptian language. It reads, he found the house of Setet Henut beside the temple of the Sphinx. This is interesting for several reasons. First, I have no idea who this Setet Henut person is. It's probably a woman, and this might be her personal name, or it could also be translated something like female successor. So maybe it's not a personal name, I don't know. Second, see this pyramid symbol over here. In most cases, it indicates that the stuff preceding it is a name of some pyramid, as a structure. So the sentence actually says, he found a pyramid named the house of Setet Henut beside the temple of the Sphinx. And third, there is no known pyramid with such a name. There is also no historical person by that name that I know of, at least in connection with Khufu. What I'm trying to say is that this sentence was not copied from a real ancient Egyptian source. It was composed specifically for the game. So the developers purposefully made up this sentence, had someone translated it into proper ancient Egyptian, and then had the graphical artist put it on this pyramid here. That's quite a lot of effort for some random line of text most players won't pay much attention to. So I got very excited, because I thought maybe it points to some kind of super hidden secret inside the game. We're being told that Khufu found some unknown pyramid beside the Temple of the Sphinx, and it specifically says found or discovered implying that the mysterious pyramid was already there at the time of Khufu and probably wasn't visible to the naked eye, because otherwise it wouldn't need to be discovered. So perhaps Khufu found some underground part of an already ruined pyramid or something like that. In any case, sounds like an amazing start for a quest. Now, there are two temples of the Sphinx. Here and here. One of them was built around the same time as the Sphinx itself. The second one was built much later during the New Kingdom. The temple from our mysterious sentence cannot be the second one, since it simply did not exist at the time of Khufu. Unless, of course, there was an older structure in its place, and maybe the sentence talks about that one, who knows? I doubt it. Regardless, I thoroughly inspected the area in and around both temples and unfortunately couldn't find anything unusual. No signs of any mysterious pyramids, not a single clue that could keep fueling the excitement. It still baffles me that they would waste all this effort, but perhaps the idea was indeed in the works and got canned at some point. Maybe I just misunderstood the message or missed a clue somewhere. Or maybe this is a very elaborate way to point at the Isu vault in this area, where you find this fancy armor I'm wearing. But in that case, I still don't understand why would they need such a complicated message to tell us about it, and who this Setet Hnut person is anyway. Not to mention that the Isu vault is not exactly by the Sphinx. It's all the way over here. Oh well, I guess distance is relative. Well, there you have it. The mysterious secret of Khufu. Please let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for the next one, where the hieroglyphic texts of this game reveal an untold story of the king who stole from men and gods alike the greatest usurper in the history of Egypt. Oh! At least according to this game. See you next time.